While figuring out which courses to take is a big part of the registration process, actually registering for them on your student center through my.concordia.ca is just as important. But watch out, some students put the courses in their cart, but forget to proceed to check out. Be sure to complete all the steps in the process. The registration period opens up several months before classes start, so be proactive and register for your courses as soon as possible. The longer you wait, the more classes fill up. If you're starting school in September, the registration period opens in mid-April and you must register for both your fall and winter courses at the same time. If you're starting school in January, the registration period opens in mid-September and at that point, you'll only be able to register for your winter courses. Now even though you spend precious time strategically selecting your courses and planning out your schedule, sometimes the system won't let you register for a course. It's important to understand why you're being blocked because in the future you'll be able to avoid and predict certain complications. Here are some common things to look out for. General Registration Block Some programs place a general registration block on all new students. This means you will not be able to register for any courses until you've met the program's advising requirements. Sometimes this means watching a video, attending a group advising session, or a one-on-one -on -one appointment with an advisor. Prerequisite A prerequisite is a specific course that must be taken before another course. You can find out if a course has a prerequisite by reading the course description directly in the registration system or in the undergraduate calendar. It's best to fit these prerequisites into your schedule now so that you have access to your desired courses in later semesters. Watch out for sneaky co-requisites too. These are courses that must be taken at the same time as a desired course. Similarly, some courses require permission from the department. If that's the case, you'll have to contact the department that offers the course directly in order to get authorization to add the course to your schedule. All departments' contact information can be found online. Reserve spots. It's common for some, or all spots in a course to be reserved for students in specific programs or faculties. This can be frustrating when you don't qualify for those reserved spots. When that happens, speaking with a professor or the department that offers the course might help. Otherwise, you'll have to put your name on a waiting list and cross your fingers and hope that those reserve spots don't fill up. You'll only find out at the end of the ad drop course period, which is normally two weeks into the semester, if you can hold your breath that long. Pro tip. If you put your name on a waitlist but are already registered in the maximum allowable number of courses for a term, be sure to use the swap feature to ensure that the system knows which of your other classes to drop if you get a spot in a waitlisted course. Otherwise, you might end up with an extra class in your schedule that you didn't intend to keep there. Instructions on how to use the waitlist and swap features can be found on the Your SIS section of Concordia's website. Time Conflicts most of us can't be in two places at once, so it just makes sense that you can't take two courses that are at the same time. Luckily, many courses at Concordia have multiple sections. This means that they're taught at different times by various different professors. Use the class schedule builder in the registration system to save time and avoid frustration. Just simply plug in the courses you'd like to take and it will provide you with all the possible schedule combinations for those courses. I can't find the course. Warning, all courses are not offered every semester so sometimes you'll have to adjust your course sequence based on what's available. Instead of getting mad, try to relax and be flexible. You should always keep a few alternative courses in your back pocket just in case any of these situations keep you from registering for a desired course. Be proactive. So now, you're quite the registration expert. Follow these tips and registration will be a breeze. Okay, how about a lot easier? <laughs>